Welcome back everyone. You may be getting a specific issue, maybe not on your iPhone, but maybe on your iTunes or sometimes on your iPhone if you go ahead and try to back up and restore via your device itself. And the pop-up looks something like this. And they say the backup you're using cannot be restored because it is, you know, not of the same you know, compatibility. Maybe it's corrupt. Whatever the case is, there's a lot of different pop-ups that come up with it. Like I said, they're usually through iTunes. It's very rare that you do it straight from your, you know, device itself. Unless you're, you know, factory reset your device and restore it from iTunes. Now, why does this happen? Well, this usually happens, let's say, when you have an iOS 14 backup. Let's say I backed up my device right now on iOS 14 and I installed the iOS 15 beta. Well, if I try to restore that data to this specific device on iOS 15, it's not going to work out. And the same thing vice versa. So if I have an iOS 15 backup and I try to restore it to an iOS 14 device, it's not going to work out. There's going to be a lot of issues and they're usually not going to let you do it in the first place. So how do you circumvent this? Well, you essentially need a backup per, you know, software version that you're on. So in this case, you know, if I'm on iOS 14, I can really only restore it back on another iOS 14 device. Now, why do they do this? Well, this is because they want to maintain stability on all sorts of different, you know, iOS versions. I think it's okay. So in order to fix this, you need to either, you know, back up your device on iOS 15 or iOS 14 or any other iOS version that you're on and restore it to that same version of iOS. If you can't do that, then obviously there's going to be issues and that's essentially the main way to circumvent this. So to fix this, you will either need another device on iOS 14 that hopefully has some of your data on it or you need to downgrade your specific device. So go from iOS 15 to iOS 14, and then you can go ahead and restore your data that way. Like I mentioned, if you're on iOS 15, you'll have to be on iOS 15 in order to go ahead and restore that. Same thing with 14, same thing with 13, same thing with the future. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.